to my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just uh, actually wrestle off of, the, off of the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early with me. <laughs> now he's gonna... What the f did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the frosted flakes and we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen. <laughs> I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. First and foremost, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna. If we can, just let's let's just put the camera a little this way, just so we're not. I don't want my shot to even like. I don't want it to come close to the bed. Hold on to your seats, folks, because we've got some juicy news hot off the press. The entertainment industry is buzzing with rumors about Sean Combs, better known as Diddy, after he made some shocking admissions during an Instagram live session. That's right. The hip-hop mogul just spilled the beans on waking up in bed with none other than Kevin Hart and Usher. But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the frosted place because he used to always get up early with me. <laughs> now he's one of the richest stars yeah. in the world. What, what the f did Puff just, just say? Now, this isn't the first time speculation about Diddy's sexuality has made the rounds in Hollywood, but the latest revelations have taken things to a whole new level. Even Kevin Hart himself couldn't believe what he was hearing, and we can hardly blame him. The scandalous details have left many scratching their heads and wondering if there's more to the story than meets the eye. Shaking it, she's like, no, nah, it's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I get it, you got it. You look beautiful. It was a I great move. You know, great I throw that product in beautiful. there. It seems like Diddy is no longer interested in keeping his personal life under wraps, as he openly commented on Kevin Hart's good looks during the live session. The two stars were apparently attending a wild, dirty money party together, and things got pretty hot and heavy between them. Some fans are even speculating that Diddy's subtle advances towards Kevin may be a sign that the rumors are true. Despite the controversy, Diddy has not shied away from the limelight and seems to be embracing his new status as a Hollywood bad boy. In one particularly eyebrow-raising moment, he called Kevin into the bathroom but then quickly added a no homo disclaimer when the cameras started rolling. Yo, come in here, man. I'm come not, in here, I'm man. Not going in, I'm not hey, yo, going. listen, listen. Uh, yo, come hey, in here. No homo, no homo. We're going to get some ladies in here, though, but we're going to have, we're going to make sure our breath is fresh. No, say pause. Say pause. Pause, pause, pause. pause, pause. Don't acknowledge it. Pause, pause, nothing to do with me, In his first statement, it appears that Diddy used the phrase no homo in a way that may not be typical for the bro code, as he has a history of homosexual behavior. The tone of his delivery seems suspicious, almost as if he desired to express something but felt unable to. In a separate clip, Diddy goes even further by asking Kevin to speak of him as if he were a baby. Matter of fact, Kevin, come here. Kevin, Kevin, I want you to talk about me as a baby. Come here, man. As for the second paragraph, Diddy's confidence in his sexuality seems to be increasing with each passing news report. This was proven when he kissed Ronnie James without the young man's consent, which provoked an angry reaction from Kevin Hart. Hold on. Shouts out to Diddy's sons who look nothing like him. Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Don't nobody want to see that it's possible that Kevin's reaction may have stemmed from jealousy towards Diddy. However, this is open to interpretation. Kevin even went as far as hitting Diddy and advising him to work out and improve his physique. Are these two individuals increasing the sexual tension in the room? You decide. You hit me that hard again. Man. Listen, dude, listen. Okay, first of all, get your body together. Work out. It is evident that there is some sort of relationship between the two individuals, and it appears highly probable that Usher is also involved based on Diddy's remarks at the beginning of the video. However, this is not uncommon considering Diddy's previous behavior and the indications of his concealed sexual preferences. During his early days as a fresh-faced teenager signed to Laffey's record label, he was taken in by none other than P. Diddy. It may seem like a fantastic opportunity, but brace yourself because there was more to their connection than just a mentor-mentee relationship. According to the cringe-worthy interview that P. Diddy did with Kevin Hart where he said Usher and he used to wake up in the same bed, it seems like things got pretty cozy between the mentor and mentee. Apparently, Usher moved all the way to the Big Apple to shack up with Diddy when he was just 14 years old. And let's just say that some eyebrow-raising activities were going down in Diddy's household. No one's really sure exactly what kind of mentoring was happening at the time, but it's safe to say that it wasn't just about making hit records. Another video involving Usher and Diddy has also been making rounds on the internet, and yeah, we'll let you experience this one first. Diddy is merely encouraging Usher for his upcoming performance, but what he says next is truly revealing. Wait a minute, did I hear correctly? Are there new rumors about Usher's questionable activities in the kitchen? And to think that people were exaggerating when they talked about the wild antics that went down when he lived with Diddy. 
Despite the constant rumors and speculations, Usher has kept quiet about what truly happened during his time with Diddy. However, in a captivating interview with the renowned Howard Stern, Usher finally opened up and gave us a glimpse of what we've all been curious about. So I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was. Although Usher didn't divulge all the details, he gave some significant clues about the depth of his relationship with Diddy. Let's just say their mentorship went beyond music and things got heated and we're not talking about cooking in the kitchen. Reported it was only after Usher's album was released that he discovered a particular youngster sipping champagne with Diddy in the VIP section of a nightclub. And guess who that young person was? You're right, Usher himself. It was quite a wild ride. While Usher hasn't explicitly revealed what went on between him and Diddy, he did imply that some questionable activities occurred during his stay at Diddy's place. Furthermore, when Usher graced the cover of Essence magazine, he hinted at his past with Diddy and how much he admires him. Something that you should know about me is that I'm a businessman before I'm anything else, Usher revealed. Look at the capabilities of Martha Stewart or Russell Simmons or Sean Puffy Combs or even 50 Cent with G-Unit. Look at what they did with their licensing. This is my opportunity to do the same. Clothing and shoes are kind of the standard nowadays, so I'm trying to figure out how I can come at it from a different angle. Watches, clothes, perfume, cologne, facial and acne products. There are so many possibilities. The interview was progressing smoothly until the interviewer brought up the topic of Usher stint living with Diddy, which is when things became more intriguing. Although there were numerous tantalizing rumors and speculations about their relationship, Usher became unexpectedly tight-lipped about his past with Diddy. Known for his loquaciousness, Usher suddenly became as reticent as a Hollywood actress at a red carpet event. He responded with, I want to save some message for my book one day. He said, I'll put it this way, there was a lot of you look boy, before anyone jumps to blame Usher's parents for not protecting him from Diddy's influence, let me clarify what really happened. As per Usher himself, his parents were unaware of the situation while he was living with Diddy. However, that didn't mean they were going to allow Diddy to get away with it. According to Mary J. Blige, Usher's mother attempted to retaliate against Diddy. She was not going to tolerate him interfering with her son. But it gets even more bizarre. In November 2022, reports surfaced that Kim Porter's former stylist was about to publish a tell-all book about Diddy. The stylist claimed that Diddy had sexual relationships with multiple men on numerous occasions. What? But that's not even the craziest part. The stylist also alleged that Usher's mother confronted Diddy about supposedly being intimate with Usher. And just when we thought it couldn't get any more chaotic, there's talk of a video. According to rumors, Kim Porter had footage of Usher and Diddy engaging in sexual activities. However, before we become too excited, it's crucial to note that Kim died under mysterious circumstances. Furthermore, when her house was burglarized, two laptops containing the alleged video were stolen. And it looks like there's a whole lot of smoke surrounding Diddy and his alleged exploits on the down low. I mean, we can't forget about the fact that Orlando Brown revealed some major tea on this alleged secret life Diddy appears to be living. Yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ooshkash Kooshmash. You gave me the Ooshkash Muaf. The Shooshmash. Diddy. Yeah, son. I mean? I mean, you gave me the Ooshkash Muaf. I love it, yo. The former Disney star made a shocking revelation that Diddy had been involved in sexual activities with him and other young men. This is quite concerning, and Orlando is not the only one making such claims. There have been rumors and whispers about Diddy's sexuality for years, with Jaguar Wright also making some explosive allegations. Jaguar claims to know a lawyer who walked in on Diddy and Christopher Williams in a compromising position. We're talking about Felicio, and to make matters worse, the door wasn't even locked. When the lawyer entered, she saw Christopher Williams performing the act while Diddy sat there, enjoying himself. This is scandalous behavior, to say the least. But it gets worse. According to Jaguar, they didn't even stop when the lawyer walked in. This is disrespectful and unacceptable. Diddy's ex-bodyguard, Jean Deal, also confirmed that what Jaguar said was the truth. This is a serious matter that needs to be addressed, but the truth. He said, yo, Gene, watch the door, don't let nobody come through here. And I said, I watched the door. If I watched the door and him and a man ran out naked, and I said that, I ain't nobody told me that. As you've just seen, there's a whole lot of evidence about what Diddy really gets up to in his free time, and honestly, for the most part, it sounds a little creepy. That said, it's not particularly surprising that it's all just coming out now that the steamy details of the relationship between Kevin Hart and Usher have been revealed. Only time will tell how Diddy's story unfolds now. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching and goodbye.